Hey everyone, so uh, I get a lot of questions from people, especially people who are just starting out, about how to, um, how to get better results, how to get more, uh, you know, in the beginning of the work, and in the work in general, in your art in general, how to get more personal, more uh, stronger results. And I thought I'd share a little tip that I use that gives you a lot of momentum right away, right from the beginning. And it's funny, it has nothing to do with what kind of paint it is. It has nothing to do with what kind of brushes you use or the pen you use, or if you're using collage or using anything. It has everything to do with your thinking. So let me show you, uh, let me show you how this works exactly. Um, okay, if I have a picture here, and I'm about to start on it. Now I can grab some colors and I can grab some things and just start and see what happens, which is pretty fun. Or before I start, I can think of how I might want this thing when I'm done or in even how I, in the beginning of how I want it to feel. And feeling, feel, I'll write it here just to emphasize it, is the operative word. When we have a sense of how something wants to feel, it's not that the art has to look like something. The art doesn't have to be realistic. It doesn't have to be abstract. It doesn't have to be painted. It doesn't have to be, it's anything. But if you're feeling and thinking about the feeling that you want to share, even feeling that way when you start, it gives you some ideas of where to go. And often that feeling comes through. It's kind of amazing. So let me demonstrate. Let's say I want my picture to feel um, kind of spacious and free, right? Like that's just a feeling. So I'll start that way and think about that. And I will, if I'm thinking about being spacious and free, if I come in with a dot here, it doesn't really feel spacious and free. What feels spacious and free is something that's a bit more um, generous, a bit bigger, more free-like. So I might take this paint and put it on here and maybe get a bigger tool if I want it to just feel really free. Like that feels more spacious and free. And because I, that's the feeling I want to have happen, it it satisfies me because that's more free-like. So maybe now, um, maybe I come in with some lines and I'm thinking about the freedom of it. You can see how this art in many ways is being art directed by a feeling. And guess what? A feeling doesn't, it doesn't mean that I have to paint birds on this or any, I have lots of ways to go with this and I can still make it feel spacious and free, right? Like I could, I can just scribble freely and it seems to work, you know? I can come in with dots and close my eyes and just go everywhere with these dots. The feeling comes through and when the feeling comes through, it makes the art powerful for other people. This is a huge thing to learn and it's, it might sound like a beginner thing, but this applies to, for any artist um, at any level. When your work feels and has communicates a feeling and an emotion, especially one that you, you want to express, others get it and they're drawn to it. It connects them to you and, the, and your art. Let me know if this is helpful. Um, I think this is a huge kind of possibility of working. Uh, it, it can really affect your approach. Okay, great.